two new stories for you. The firstly, aid workers who have been under threat in Tigray, who have been harassed in Tigray, who have been accused of being party to this conflict, uh, they were once again in danger in Tigray to a flight carrying aid workers. UN aid workers had to cancel its landing at Mackel Airport because the flight was about to land and then Ethiopian Air Force bombers arrived and they started air strikes on Mackel. An alarming development. Secondly, we have some pictures from Kambolcha city. Unarmed uh, civilians are on their way from Kambolcha to front lines in Dasi. Where is fighting going on on Dasi front? We have some updates as well. Firstly, viewers, Ethiopian Air Force a few hours ago conducted air strikes on Makele. Ethiopian Air Force says it targeted uh, training camps. But Tigray government says that some areas close to Makele University were targeted. A video is being shared of a burning heap of agricultural harvest. And Tigray uh, media says that this agricultural harvest was deliberately targeted by Ethiopian uh, Air Force bombers. But the alarming development viewers is that uh, aid workers have confirmed that uh, a flight, UN a humanitarian workers flight, uh, WFP flight, was about to land at Makele airport when air strike started and this flight had to cancel its landing it went back to Makele. The flight was cleared in Addis Ababa. It was cleared for its travel towards Makele. It flew from Addis Ababa it reached Makele when it was about to land. It was preparing to land. Ethiopian Air Force bombers arrived and TDF air defense units uh, were ready as well to target these uh, uh, Ethiopian Air Force bombers. Ethiopian bombers uh, launched air strikes. So, UN workers flight was about to be caught in the crossfire between TDF uh, air defense units and Ethiopian Air Force bombers. The flight then decided to return. It did not land in Makele. The flight was not carrying any aid. It was carrying aid workers. UN aid workers have gone through a lot in Tigray. Some aid workers have been killed as well. They have been accused of being party to this conflict. Now their lives are in danger. What will happen now, viewers? Who will now travel to Tigray? If your life is in danger, if the flight carrying you uh, can be hit in crossfire, Will you uh, be willing to travel to Tigray? We know that a delivery to Tigray is already blocked by road. Only way of uh, delivery of it to Tigray was by air. Now, Ethiopian Air Force today conducted a strikes while this uh, aid workers flight was about to land in Makale. It means that now the uh, aid workers, uh, pilots, they would not be willing to fly to Tigray. An alarming development. It means that whatever aid was arriving in Tigray by air, now it will be obstructed as well. Uh, what the video showing uh, uh, a burning heap of agricultural harvest. Tigray government says that uh, this uh, 
agricultural harvest was targeted in today's uh, air strikes by Ethiopian Air Force. A small crater can also be seen close to the burning heap of agriculture harvest. For the video, then we'll talk about Kambolja Dasi front. Now viewers, we have some updates from Dasi Kambolcha fronts. Mobilization of youth and militia members from Kambolcha and Dasi towards uh, battle fronts is still under viewers. Have a look at these pictures. The pictures are from Kambolcha town. You can see young unarmed men. Youth unarmed is heading to front lines from Kambolcha towards Dasi, then onwards to the areas where fighting is going on. I have been reporting you about this trend that uh, we have seen large scale mobilization of uh, youth of these two towns and of other places as well towards front lines uh, close to Dasi. So, this uh, development. Uh, shows views that Dasi Kambolcha fronts are being treated as do or die by uh, Ethiopian government, by Amhara regional government. Where is fighting going on? Well, yesterday we talked about Boro Maeda, which is almost uh, midway between the outskirts of Dasi and Haik. Amhara news sources, they are still claiming that there is no TDF in uh, Hayek. The TDF has been pushed back from Hayek and Bistima. But uh, we have received reports today of fighting in Boro Maida. There is still fighting ongoing in Boro Maida. It means that TDF has not been pushed back from Boro Maida. TDF is still there in Boro Maida, just a few kilometers away from Dasi city. TDF has not entered Dasi city so far. It has not been pushed back either. Almost a stalemate there because uh, uh, ENDF Amhara forces, they have made large scale deployments. Uh, civilians have joined them as well. TDF is facing stiff resistance on this front. Meanwhile, in Dasi, people are fleeing, uh, no doubt about that. And IDPs, residents of Dasi, they're trying to flee, they're fleeing towards neighboring areas, Romia Special Zone, North Shore Zone, they're fleeing towards these areas. People uh, are worried. They say that TDF can reach Dasi. It's not that there is calm in Dasi, as some uh, government-backed news sources are claiming. There is no calm in Dasi. People are worried. They say TDF can reach Dasi. So far, TDF has not entered Dasi city. Mobilization and movement of civilians and ENDF convoys, uh, Amhara militia convoys from Kambolcha and Dasi towards front lines is still going on. I think so much.